All right, so basically what I'm going to do is show you how to break a wall up into parts and sort of label it um, in two different ways, by material and then also by category, which is kind of a good thing to do. So um, let's go ahead and go to our 3D wall parts view. And I'm just going to come in here and delete this. So that's going to break up the parts. So I'm going to delete the elements. And it kind of brings it back to its original wall which is great and gets rid of all of all of the stuff and I'm just going to delete the view itself so we're starting kind of from scratch I'll go to my 3d view and <clears throat> basically what I want is to zoom in on this guy and break it up into parts so um, the first thing I'm going to do is set my scale or actually first thing I'm going to do is duplicate my view so I'm not so I'm just going to duplicate it and then we'll name it 3d wall wall part right <clears throat> and then <clears throat> I'm gonna come in and change my scale to half an inch because I want it to be a little bigger and then I'm gonna turn on my cropping and just get my cropping set up because the crop box is gonna be really big and I want it to be sort of focused on this guy right here All right so I'm gonna bring that guy down and then you can kind of check about how big it is half an inch is gonna work for like just a little eight and a half by eleven print um, so if you select this box, you can size and crop it at half an inch and more five and five eighths by six and five eighths. So that's a good size. Um, <clears throat> so now what I want to do is I want to break it up into parts and sort of set those parts. So all you got to do is pick the wall and go to parts. And if you create parts, you'll see it'll break it up into the different parts you can select off of it and see those parts. I'll go to shaded here. You can see it a little better, right? <clears throat> um, and then I'll go to my sun settings and I would like the sunlight from the top right. What does that look like? That's where it's coming from. Top left would make that dark. Yeah, that's kind of a pain. But, um, alright, apply. Alright, so, um, okay, so that does bug me that that is not. So let's fix that. Um, I think. Let's try making this bigger. Like if I go to 180, won't it be there? So now we got sort of even light. So you can see those. So now what I can do is I can pick these layers and turn their shape handles on. And I'm just going to pull them kind of in. And it's going to give you a distance so you can actually sort of count the layers. Um, and I know that this is, this is supposed to be 2 foot 6. And then I'm just going to come in and turn the shape handles on for each one of these and pull them in. And the sky. So it's just turning the shape panels on, pull them in, and then using those dimensions, right, to set the offset. So you get an even offset, right? And last one. Okay, so that's breaking up the wall. Um, the next thing that we'll do is put on the labels for that. Um, so that's pretty straightforward because we want to label each one of these materials. And so if I go to the annotate tab and I want to use a material tag in the 3D view, what I need to do is come down and lock this view. So it says unlocked 3D view. If I click on it, it says save orientation and lock view. And now I can go in and do a material tag and if I hover over the brick, left click, left click, and left click, it will put in a material tag that reads the material. If it comes in with a question mark, that means it just hasn't been filled in. So you can go ahead and fill it in. And, um, and then I would just take this guy, and maybe we'll move it a little bit more like this. And I would just copy it maybe up, you know, a couple of times. And you can kind of get it to go straight if you go far enough. It's it's kind of weird because you're in a 3D view, but um, just keep copying. Maybe I'd even do multiple, right, up here just to get a few out here. You know, so 
so you can work with them. Um, and then they should read right from the from the material. Once you get them on top of the material, it'll start to read what that material is, right? So, and then just arrange them. I probably won't spend too much more time doing this because it'll take up time on the video. But when I come back, um, we'll well actually let's let me pause this and I'll finish this up and then um, I'll come back and do the bottom part. All right, so we're done with the sort of labeling here. Um, and just so you know, for these labels, I actually edited the family and changed the to Century Gothic and 564 from Arial. So that's kind of up to you if you want to do that or not. Um, and then <clears throat> let's go ahead and I made like this little guy right here. So I'm going to delete this one and remake it. So I'm just going to go to my level one floor plan, do basically the same thing I did before, which is duplicate the view. Let's rename it. All part, All right? And um, let's set it to half an inch to match what we're doing, and turn on the cropping and the crop box. And then I'm just going to crop this guy way down, right? Because we've got a massive crop box here for a building and we don't have a building. So you would do the same thing if you had a building in here, just crop everything out but this. So, um, and then once you have this done, you can come in and go to annotate and you can tag by category instead of by material. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the attached end and give it a free end and just come in here and tag that guy. Right, so what this is doing, and typically it's tagging the type, so you might have a, a rectangular or a diamond shaped box on it. Um, what I did is I went in and I edited the family and I deleted the box because I didn't want it, and then I picked the label and I edited the label and I removed the type mark. So um, if I did the opposite, so the type mark was in there and the type name was not. And I just did the opposite. I moved the type name over and took the type mark away and then clicked OK. I also updated by picking this and again going to edit type the setup for the text. So that's up to you. But that's what I did. So, um, so that's the category tag. So it's actually categorizing, talking about the system, right? And then once you have that set up, you can create a new sheet and I loaded an eight half by 11 blank title block that I had, right? Let's cancel that. And if we look on our blank sheet, you can then pull on your floor plan version, right? And then you can pull on your 3D view version, right? And sort of get those lined up. Maybe this one moves a little bit over this way. Right, you can align them however you want, and then you can get rid of the by double clicking on those. You can just turn off the crop box, right? So, activating the view and turning off the crop box, and then deactivating. So, that gives you that. So, um, I hope that was useful, but anyway.